हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू सीरीज ऑफ नॉलेज शेयरिंग टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट हाउ टू बी क्वालिफाई एनेटिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट एज पर यूएसपी चैप्टर वन जीरो फाइव एट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस डिफरेंट कैटेगरी ऑफ इंस्ट्रूमेंट कैटेगरी ए कैटेगरी बी एंड कैटेगरी सी दिस इज रिसेप्शन लेट्स बिगन so friend uh, let's understand why the qualification of instrument is required and why it is necessary the uh, importance of uh, qualification instrument are fit to uh, intended use means uh, the purpose which we have procured the instrument it is fit for the use then proper control to ensure no data integrity so uh, during the qualification all the computer system qualification everywhere we have to be check the proper control to ensure no data integrity and data security what data is generated in the instrument it is safe so the three point uh, is very important for the qualification like instrument are fit to intent to use proper control to ensure no data integrity and data security so friends let's understand how many type of instrument we are using in the lab so that is type of instrument in the laboratory first instrument here i have mentioned that is filtration assembly this assembly doesn't generate any data this assembly doesn't have control of physical parameter like temperature and humidity any other control so this instrument that type of instrument also we are using in the lab then second instrument is balance balance you have to be used for the taking the weight of any material any liquid but when you take the weight there is no memory inside in the balance nowadays we are getting some uh, balance also attached with the software but i am discussing here where the balance doesn't have internal memory and it is not attached with the software so when you take any weight you to just directly print and you can get what is the weight you have taken in the print out the third type of instrument is there uh, that is if you see there is the instrument is attached with the one computer system and this instrument is attached with a stand alone computer system so it is controlled by the one stand alone pc now the fourth type of instrument this instrument is uh, there are lot of instrument attached with the uh, one server so that is server based instrument where one server is there all the instrument data is going to the server and it is controlled by the server so this type of instrument we are using in the laboratory so as per layman uh, i would explain what type of instrument we are using in the lab now let's understand as per usp 1058 chapter what type of instrument so as per usp 1058 group a instrument group b instrument and group c instrument now what is the group a instrument the group a instrument if the equipment instrument system doesn't have measurement capabilities and no control of physical parameter doesn't have measurement capability means there is no data is generated there is no analytical analysis has to be done on that instrument and they cannot control the physical parameter means they cannot control the temperature they cannot control the humidity and any other physical parameter is not be controlled now let us understand there is a two example i have given one is vertex vertex is doesn't have any uh, control in the temperature any physical parameter is not control they doesn't generate any data itself so this two instrument i have attached the second instrument is hot plate in hot plate also you cannot generate any data and this instrument also not is control the physical parameter okay like is control the temperature but still i have uh, given the group a because if this temperature which is controlled by this instrument if it is when you are using this instrument and you are uh, like 200 degree centigrade 400 degree centigrade you are measuring the temperature also then it will automatically come go to the group b but if the instrument only you are using for heating there is no control required in the temperature you just put some water and it is heated if they are not controlling the physical parameter then it will come in the group a so some instrument you can see it will come in the group a also some instrument will come in the group b so based on the their intended use then based on their system boundary you can decide this is the group a instrument or group b instrument so uh, uh, as per uh, usp 1058 the second group is group b instrument that is non complex instrument is very simple instrument and then having measurement capability yes they can measure the data having the measurement capability having capability to control of physical parameter so control, like they can control the temperature 
they can uh, control the pressure okay they can control the uh, humidity so uh, this type of instrument come in the group b so there is an example like this is a balance ph meter the balance and ph meter it is not attached with the computer so these are not attached with the computer but they have capability of measurement so this instrument is come in the group b instrument what is the group c instrument so the group c instrument a uh, complex instrument then having measurement capability then having capability to control the physical parameter and attached with the computer system so the group c instrument which is attached with the computer system here you can see this uh, this uv it is attached with the computer system it will come in the group c then uh, the server based instrument there is a complex instrument where the server is there and different instrument is attached with the server also come in the group c instrument now so we discuss group a group b and group c instrument group a doesn't have measurement capability group b yes having the measurement capability having the control of physical parameter but doesn't attach with the computer system they don't have software they don't attach with the computer system if it is attached with the computer system it is automatically convert in the group c instrument now how to start the instrument qualification so what is the first work has to be do for the instrument qualification we have to be do the impact assessment that also called the risk assessment or gsp document based on the system boundary what is the system boundary system boundary is the capability of the instrument like it is attached with the software it is not attached with the software it is having the measurement capability this all are come in the system boundary so let us understand with the different category as per uh, gsp document you have to be first identify this instrument will come in the group a yeah this instrument will come in the group b yeah group c and after that you have to be check the if it is uh, software is there if it is the internal memory is there you have to be check electronic record and electronic signature capability of the instrument is there is not there so the first document is to identify the instrument is in the group a the instrument in the group b yeah the instrument in the group c then er and es electronic record and electronic signature so now based on the impact assessment you decide this uh, instrument will come in the group a category a group b category a group c category now what has to be done for the group a category what uh, qualification has to be done what document has to be prepared for the group a category change control yes change control is required if any instrument is received at site then impact assessment with the impact assessment you can identify this is group a group b a group c instrument then standard operating procedure has to be prepared and if calibration is required then you can attach the calibration certificate for group a instrument so the group a instrument only this document uh, this qualification is required now for the group b instrument for the group b instrument user requirement specification is required change control is required impact assessment is required and installation qualification operation qualification sop then perform qualification is required for the group c instrument the group c instrument urs change control impact assessment installation qualification operation qualification then here computer system validation has to be done then standard operating procedure performance qualification then validation summary report release note dq is not required for commercial of the self equipment instrument now design qualification also group c instrument where the some uh, where the group uh, design qualification also has to be done but if it is readily available in the market like hplc gc ftii or ub the instrument which is already readily available in the market and you have to procure directly here design qualification is not required but for the stability chamber if you procuring the walk in stability chamber yes you have to do design qualification so based on the system boundary what is the requirement first second based on the uh, master validation plan of the organization you have to do the qualification so here i have described what is the requirement for group a what is the requirement for group b and what is the requirement for group c instruments some other document which uh, industries are preparing that is not part of usp first is functional specification like user requirement specification when to submit to the vendor here to provide a functional specification so some industries asking the functional specification critical component assessment what is the critical component of the your machine 
and what is their uh, maintenance frequency what is their calibration frequency so this document describe your critical component of the instrument then other document functional risk assessment what is the risk with this instrument if you identify some risk is there with this instrument of using then you have to be make some mitigation plan and how to handle that risk so the functional risk assessment also document is preparing by the some industries then traceability matrix traceability matrix when you have completed all the qualification you have to prepare the one traceability matrix for urs what you did for urs frs iq qp so the traceability matrix is there so the different instrument using the different based on their validation plan you have to do the instrument qualification so friends i believe this video is really useful for you if you think this video is really useful for you please share to your friends so they can also gain the knowledge and if you have not subscribe this channel please subscribe the channel when you subscribe the channel you will get new video which i am always loading the weekly basis with this channel so you will get always new video and you can increase your knowledge so please subscribe the channel if you are not subscribe and thanks for watching thanks for watching